Hey, what's up guys? It's boy. It's Pilot2K7 and I'm back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Hope you guys are having a great day and I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. So, as you can see, we're in our office for our tow company, Ace Towing, and I actually just took delivery of another brand new truck. I know we have been getting like trucks back to back like pretty much like every week we're coming out with a new truck so anyway um i just took inventory of a new truck i'm gonna go show it to you guys it is a freight liner and this is actually the first freight liner that we are adding to actually do we have another no yeah this is the first freight liner so i'm gonna go ahead and show it off to you guys as you can see we have a lot of our different trucks out right now uh, we got the peter builders here uh, we have some of our F550 wreckers over here. We got the International. Got a trailer. Whole bunch of trucks out right now. And here is our brand new truck, guys. So this is going to be a Freightliner rollback uh, wrecker here. As you can see, it does have the working rollback. Beautiful chassis. This one is going to be a crew cab. So as you can see, we could use this when we have to carry uh extra uh workers to a scene perfect vehicle we could fit multiple guys up in that truck and as you can see it has the work and roll back here so we could load vehicles up and transport them now this truck is brand new so it doesn't have our like ace towing uh skins on it yet i'm gonna drop it off to uh harrison 90 soon and he's gonna go ahead and get it skinned up for us but um for now it's just uh, all red and it has lights on the bed now let's go ahead and get this episode started i do want to give a shout out to these nutties for this awesome truck that he has released and also shout outs to i'm not mental for the script that makes the rollback work so let's go ahead and hop on i'm going to show you guys how this truck works okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull up the rollback now, if it like kind of lags, what you could kind of do is just rev up your engine and it will kind of make it go a little bit smoother. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's put it up. So it kind of lags as you can see, but if you just like rev up your engine, then it, it makes it nice and smooth. So what I do is just like keep clicking your, uh, like just keep clicking forward like really fast and then it would make it go up and down much smoother as you can see. So just rev it up. Oops, and then same thing. All right, so uh, do we have to do anything with this truck? I think it's pretty much ready to go. Like I said, we just gotta drop it off to get it uh, skinned up and everything. But yeah, inside is beautiful. All right, so let's uh, let's try to get this to uh, Harrison 90 so it can get skinned up. All right, hold up, guys. Looks like uh, Jess is calling me on my phone. Let me see what she wants. Hold on a second. Hey, Jess, he's calling me. Oh, we just got a CHP call. Where at? Okay, that's right around the corner. I'll take that. I'll head right over there. Alright guys, so we just got a CHP uh, request for a tow. It's actually on the uh, the highway right around the corner from us. So, you know what? Uh, the truck is fully functional and it could tow vehicles even though we don't have like the uh, skin and everything on it yet. But that's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do, let's head out and head to the accident scene. Apparently we have a minivan rolled over. So let's see if we could go uh, flip it back over onto its wheels and then we'll tow it back to the shop. And then after that, we'll go and uh, drop this truck off at Harrison so I could get some nice skins on it. So the accident it should be like right up there actually, but it's gonna be back uh, We can't really see it, but the bridge is like back there So we're gonna try to make our way over there and see uh, What we could do to get the vehicle flipped over. Hopefully everybody's okay and nobody's like, you know Injured or anything like that, but I guess we'll find out what happened once we get on scene.
Now the cool thing about I'm Not Mental's uh, new truck, we used it before. It's if you guys remember the uh, MTL flatbed we used. So the cool thing about that, he has released the script, so now other modders can use the script and create their own trucks. So as you can see, these nutties made his version. I know uh, Bagged is working on making his version. If you guys check out his Discord, you'll be able to see like a, a work in progress of how his looks. And also Moscow, uh, Moscow is working on one as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be in this uh, right lane. Alright, so I got two uh, CHP units on scene. Let's see if I can just squeeze in right here. Perfect. Alright, so let's take a look at this scene here. All right, looks like we have uh, EMS is treating one of the drivers over here. We have a Toyota Sienna that got rolled over. Looks like they were able to get her out okay. Holy crap, okay. Let's uh, turn traffic off because traffic is crazy sometimes. You guys already know that. All right, let me talk to uh, the CHP officers and see if I'm good to go. How you doing, sir? I'm here with uh, Ace Towing. I'm here to get the uh, blue minivan, correct? Okay, no problem. So, yeah, I'll get that flipped over. Am I good to take it, or are you guys done with your investigation? All right, perfect. Was everybody's okay? All right, well, I'm just glad to hear everybody's okay. All right, so I'll work on that. Uh, are you the driver of the truck, sir? Yeah? Okay. So uh, is your truck going to need to be towed? I could get another truck out if you need it. It should be fine. Okay. So I may need to move your truck out the way and then uh, I'll get the minivan flipped over and then we can get the road back open. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. So let's take a look at our scene one more time. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, guys, we got to get this uh, scrap truck out the way. So let me get my truck turned around here. And let's also move some of these uh, cones so we have a little bit more room to work with put this like right there uh, that should be okay all right let's hop in this now i did have to cut off traffic because they were just crashing into everything here You know what? I'll put it about right here. Should be good. So what we're gonna do? Let's uh, grab our winch or our line, and we're gonna pull these out, and we'll attach it to the back of this truck here. And what we're gonna try to do is just winch this back a little bit. Got to be careful though, because we are on like a little incline. We don't want it to start rolling down the hill. Okay. Pull it a little bit more. You know what? I'm probably going to have to pull it all the way over here, honestly. Okay, so I'm just going to freeze my truck. Just so that it doesn't... Oh, it's still going to make me move. <laughs> oh, I must have did it freeze it because I'm able to drive. Okay, I'm going to have to move some of these cones a bit. Let's just put this one right there. 
And we'll just move these guys over a little bit. Just so we could pull this thing a little bit more. Alright, so that should give us enough space on the other side to work with. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is try to get this truck into position so we could flip over to Sienna. And I have to move some more of these cones. Let's put this about right there. And we'll slide this one right there. Alright guys, so let's see if we get this thing uh, rolled over. So what we're going to do, let's grab our line and I'm going to try to attach it. I'm going to try to attach it to the front, but it may attach to the rear. Let's see. Yeah, I figured it was going to attach to the rear. Okay, so let's see if we could wench it in and if it will roll over. Yep, yep, perfect, got it. Perfecto, so that winch mod that I use is actually not included with the truck. You can use it for any vehicle, and I'll link it down below in the video description. So, we got it uh, turned right side up, and let's uh, try to get it onto the bed now. Perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, let's just try to pull this Sienna a little bit closer to the truck. I'm going to actually tow it from the front. Okay, that should be enough room for us. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how the actual truck works. Alright, so let's hop out. Now, to make this work, all you have to do is uh, line up your truck, put the bed down, make sure that the green marker is next to the uh, vehicle you're trying to tow. And let's go ahead and load that on. And as you can see, it makes another winch line and it actually pulls it onto the bed automatically, which is pretty cool. And there you go. So let's go ahead and lock this down. We're going to put down our four way straps. Make sure we have our anchor points correct. Damn, we lost the door on this side. And we are good. Okay, so now that we have the four points of tie down, uh, it's safe for us to load it and transport it. Okay. And let's get this back to the yard. So the guy said that his truck wasn't really damaged, so... He's not going to need a tow there. He's just going to drive away from the scene. All right. 
we can turn traffic back on since we are leaving. I'm not sure what that noise is. All right, away we go. So let's head back to the shop and we'll drop this off in the yard. Looks like it should be able to fix be uh, repaired. It doesn't really have too much damage. I mean, it has a lot of damage, but it's mostly like body damage. So we'll figure out when the uh, insurance adjuster comes out and they'll decide if they want to total it or if they're going to fix it up. Call CHP. Alright guys, so we are back at the shop. Let's go ahead and drop this uh, Tata Sienna off and then we'll go get this uh, Freightliner skinned up. No, we may have to park this one up inside actually because all of the windows are smashed up and it looks like it's about to rain so I don't want it to get uh, damaged more than it already is so let's uh, let's just put it in that corner over there or we'll put it on this bay actually So let's go ahead and unload it. Hopefully it doesn't hit the wall. Perfect. There we go. All right. So let's hop back in here. And like I said, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this to Harrison so he can get this thing skinned up. So let's put this back up for now. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed the truck as well as the episode. I cannot wait to see uh, what Harrison does with this one once he get it textured up and he gets the Ace Towing skin on it. So we'll probably won't use it again until then. Uh, we are going to also look forward to using our new Kenworth I showed you guys in the last episode. So if you guys did not see that yet, definitely check it out. I'll link it right here and I'll also throw it in the uh, video description. Also look out for uh, Bagged as well. I know he's releasing a CT660 version of this truck with the working 
uh, flatbed as well, so that should be cool. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. If you're new, turn on notifications. Well, subscribe first and then turn on notifications. If you're already subscribed, make sure you have notifications turned on by hitting that bell button. So thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.